Shoot. This is Corporal Gonzalez at Ranger Command. Who am I speaking with? This is Rosie Wong at the Sands Lux Apartments. The tap water's brown again. Uh, that's not really our department, Ms. Wong. Can I, uh... Then you go arrest whose department it is! I'm trying to run a business here! My tenants have a right to clean water! Hey, take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Moving to cover! Firing! Apartments? Who's there? Fucking kids. You have to get someone here! 
and stop this thumping. Well, it's not so much a thumping as a throbbing. Kind of like a rawr, rawr. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, it's more like a rawr, rawr. Uh, Ms. Wong, I, I have another call. If you can just hang on. Sounds like you're at the Little Vegas, judging by all that noise in the background. Remember, your first order of business is to find Delgado. Maybe somebody in there has seen him. While you're at it, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. Welcome to Little Vegas. Enjoy your time in our elegant establishment. Fuck me! What's your favorite song? Gotta be Sex Dwarf. It bops so hard. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Why me? Fuck! Fuck! I am so screwed! Like, totally. I went upstairs to get my sh sh shit out of the safe, but b b Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Can you help me? I owe a lot of money. I don't sell this shit and they'll kill me. Not my drugs, other people's. Well, mostly. I got deliveries to make. Rhino and F Focus, five each. In a safe, up, 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 upstairs in the private room. Here's the combination. Just watch out for Boulder. One, six, eight! One, six, eight! Hell yeah! Ooh wee! Always have a time at Little Vegas. Even if I go home with red hot balls, it's just like hellfire. Wonder if Ted is working. Welcome to the Little Vegas brothel, friends. Kwan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. Delgado, Delgado. You know, that name sounds really familiar, but remembering is going to be hard work. Uh, the kind of work a man should be paid to do. Kendall, you predictable son of a bitch. I need serious cash. Any less, and it isn't worth the risk. Shit! I knew I should have asked for more. All right. Don't tell anyone I told you. But Delgado was sniffing around the club asking too many questions about the Dorseys. Last I saw, Charlie Nose was pulling him into the back rooms behind the bar. God damn it. 
Now Daisy's gonna want Brigo dead, and she won't take no for an answer. That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo, and they cut off his junk. Smooth like a Ken doll, get it? Makes him a great pimp, though. Yeah, okay, bye. I hope you can stay. Oh, Quan, it's you. Um, uh, uh, hi, Ten. Good, good to see you. I, I, I'm so happy you're back. I've missed you so much. Can, can you stay? Yeah, I, I'm uh, kind of on duty. Maybe uh, s some other time. <laughs> Yeah, unless you all want to take a break for a while. Friends. <laughs> I uh, hope we are. Of course we are, Quan. You are my dearest friend. My island of peace. I still have to pay you, though. <laughs> How real a friendship is that? It's as real as it can be. More real than it should be. You say that. But do you mean it? Let me prove it to you. Sure. Of course. Sorry, Tan. I guess I gotta go. Come back soon, Quan. I miss you. I hope you can stay. You couldn't work tonight, Darlene. That's uh, fine. I got a sitter. Not your ex, I hope. You'll drink all your liquor and sell the kid to the scar collectors. Ha <laughs> ha. Little Tammy from next door. She'll still drink all my liquor, but Zach will be safe. No more gambling for me. Oh, I, well, I learned my lesson. These stairs lead to Mr. Brago's lounge. He said I should let you guys through. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken, and there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out I would, but nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place, would they? Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, are you? It's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Knows. Farron Brigo's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Ah, a tactical master stroke by yours truly. Imagine two round buttes with a narrow gorge between them. Got that picture in your mind? We lured our enemies into the gorge, then squeezed them from both sides, crushing them between the buttes. A real shitstorm, that's what it was. I'm quite sure there was never a battle of two buttes, Mr. Nose. 
Sounds like a story you concocted while sitting in the outhouse. Oh, you wouldn't say that if you've been there. I'll never forget the groans, the plops of the fallen, the terrible smell. All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats. But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that, right? Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. Way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal, yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained, and that they don't wander into the back rooms. <laughs> you like it? He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the unwise decision to double cross Mr. Brigo. So the boys took him into the back room. Had him in there for weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore. And without Master John Goodfellow. Kendall, get it? What a revolting story. Yeah, he didn't like it much either. Especially the ending. Until next time, Red Hats. Ugh, so gaudy. So ostentatious. Ranger! Ah, oh, Rangers, what a pleasure. I heard you were in town. It must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Ah, oh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and Angela Death and the rest helped me save Vegas. And I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine Clothiers being back in business. My couples and I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for second-rate suits from the bazaar. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brigo. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. Perfect, isn't it? You haven't heard the story? Hey. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago. Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a blazing and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Of course, 15 years later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you, too. Anyway, that shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. I'm glad you think so. 
You should have seen it five years ago. Nothing here but the walls, and half of them were falling down. We really worked hard to get where it is today. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. Damn. I'd heard rumors, but... Well, I'm not surprised that's the way he went out. A hero to the end. Thank you for telling me. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? Certainly. Ask away. What? I don't want those kind of connections. Murder in the streets is bad for business. If I were you, I'd be looking for someone with a grudge against a patriarch. Not exactly a short list, I know, but... He does odd jobs for me, but he's his own man. He has his own business. I don't keep tabs on him, if that's what you're asking. If he's the one who let in the Dorseys, then do what you need to do. Fast as a traitor. What a shame. Nothing I like more than a good grilling. What else can I do for you? Ah, yes. Had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. But really, it's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. Like I said, 15 years after the Rangers saved us, the robots came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. Good luck. Stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh my god, tell me everything.
Much obliged. Suppose it's short, my boys. Well, I'm not looking for a bullet in the face, so you can fuck right the hell off. Oh, wait, don't. Goons are cheap. My good daughters are replaceable. All right, come in. But I'm no helpless in here, I'm warning you. We reckon you. You're the ones who survived the Dorsey ambush. You killed Isaac Reed and his rich kid pals. You're bloody ruthless. Bollocks. I'm screwed. What? No. I didn't know he had a day with that. I just, uh, I just heard a bit of it. Oh, OK. Ten seconds! But I don't know what you're talking about, just leave me alone! Don't you know I'm under Farm Brago's protection? You can't touch me! Huh? No, I, I mean... If you shoot me, then he's gonna... Gonna... Ah, what a lot of shit! This ain't fair. Everybody shits on me, everybody. OK, OK. Looks like you got me at a disadvantage, so let's make a deal, eh? You piss flaps drop me enough to skip to and I'll tell you what I can. Damn it to hell! I got too many holes in me already. Fine, I'll spill monkey desert trash. Okay, yeah. I let the doses in the city. And I'm glad I did. Least I could do after the patriarch put me in the pillories. Asshole throws my bloody face off. I got a clear worm and no should be. Of course I wanted some revenge. Wouldn't you? I know, right? Oh, I, well, I was buying some wholesale medicine for Gadzi when all of a sudden the marshal jumped out of nowhere and grabbed me. Say I'm buying me intent to sell or some shit. I try to tell him I'm no selling it. I'm getting out of while with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the bar bags can't see the difference. So they dragged me after the pillories. I mean, I busted for charity, I ask you. 99% sure those guys took my buy and sold it themselves too. Fucking marshals, they should stay on the inside of the law. <laughs> are you kidding me? This is a bear shot in the woods. Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the Patriarch, don't they? And he's the most corrupt tally washer than are. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? Utter shite! He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. Now the rest of us peons are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brego. Now he's a crook too, but he doesn't pretend he's no. No like some people I could name. What? No, oh, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not have with us nothing. I, I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. What are you going to do with me? Of 
Cassidy, you hoors! Didn't I tell you why you wanted to know? You fucking love it, the same! Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. Copy that, Team November. Arrest team from HQ is en route. Tanush and Anfred was going to be. Shit, that's not it. A lick me bobag sod af ye wee cunt. Come on, by all your heed, jammy git. I have a face like a scalp there, you dumb man. Aye, that'll see. Red hats? What's the rush, huh? Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? Oh, all oh, right, yeah. Fair enough. He should be the guy you talk to anyway. If you got good news for him, I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. So, uh, what did you do to that poor bastard McTavish? Better there than in the stocks, I guess. I'm gonna head to the machine shop and clear up any mess you left, all right? Nothing but a favor between friends. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Brigo. See you later, Red Hats. Oh, oh, oh I caught you red-handed. You don't know what you're talking about. I get the feeling this isn't a social call. It looks like you were right about McTavish. I assure you, I'm as appalled as you are. Letting the Dorseys into the city because he was angry with the Patriarch was like cutting off his nose to spite <laughs> his face. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? In my profession, you can't be too trusting with new friends. I uh, had you follow. It won't happen again. Is that a threat? Are you suggesting some kind of deal? I'm not admitting I know anything about Delgado, but what did you have in mind? Mmm, I like that. Keeps Daisy out of my business and takes care of a problem I didn't want in the first place. All right, you got a deal. You can take Delgado. I'll tell my crew to let you in the back. What do you say? You're right, but I'm not the one who grabbed him. Charlie did, the idiot. After that, what was I going to do? Tell him no hard feelings and let him walk? Daisy would have been busting down my doors within the hour. So I just kept him on ice, hoping a solution would come along, and voila, he did. At least I hope it did. Depends on if you're going to accept my offer or not. So? Fantastic. Delgado's in the back. My crew will let you through. Go get him. 
and you'll have a fully staffed armory by the time you get back to your headquarters. Pleasure doing business with you, Rangers. Feels like old times. What a surprise to see you here, Rangers. What a surprise. It's especially surprising because I figure you'd be coming out of Brigo's suite with him in chains. Or a bullet hole in his head. But no. What's a damsel like me to think? We've looked the other way long enough. First, Brigo helps out the Dorseys. Then, he locks up a marshal. You're lawkeepers, right? Like us? It's time to uphold the law. If you're not willing to do that much... Marshal Lupinski, I stand by these people. So if you plan to shoot them, you'll have to shoot me, too. I think you know how that'll go over with the families. Doesn't need to come to that, Miss Wesson. If your friends here make the right choice. So, how about it, Rangers? You wouldn't want to get the little lady hurt, would you? Maybe. Or maybe Brigo sweet-talked his way out of trouble. We've all seen that happen before. Last chance, Rangers. It doesn't have to go down like this, fellas. Shut the fuck up, Quan. It's going down like this whether or not you like it. One way or another, there's gonna be blood. So whose side are you on? You really wanna piss off the sheriff? For the sake of that rat, Brigo? <laughs> you know, I was hoping you'd say that. New targets incoming.
Hey, hands off the merchandise. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy forgot all about you. Quan, I figured anyone coming for me would have to shoot their way in. How'd you get past Brigo's crew? McTavish? <laughs> that son of a bitch. Good. Good for you. You know, I had a feeling it was one of Brigo's people. I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. Well, I guess I got too close to the truth. They grabbed me, dragged me in here and locked the door. Took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. Nah, they know better than to hurt a marshal. Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. And don't tell my wife I said that. Well, what are you gonna pay me to keep quiet? <laughs> Quan, always the kidder. Um, you are kidding, right? <laughs> don't worry, Delgado. Your secrets are safe with me. Right. Thanks again.